What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. And once again, guys, welcome to the bathroom. So I know it's different. You guys are used to seeing me in my studio. It's super dark there and super bright here. So probably look like a totally different person to some of you guys. All right, so here we go, guys. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is trimming the ends of my mustache right here. Since I trimmed this here, you know, the rest of it is getting pretty long. So it almost doesn't to me, it's not uniform, right? If I curl this up just right, you know, um, I may be able to make it look right. But my problem is, as you can see here, it's just uh, really, it's too long right here and doesn't doesn't match the rest of it. So I'm going to be looking at this mirror over here and this camera here and kind of drag, you know, dragging y'all along this video with me and trimming the ends of the mustache here to try to make it look just a little bit. Maybe like that or something, you know, something like that right there. Just a nice little swoop. Not much, but enough to get rid of these longer ends right here, you know, on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my mustache from my actual cheek line here. So I'm only trimming my mustache and then we'll go ahead and, you know, kind of clip off some of the ends there. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to be looking at this other mirror, guys. So, I like to kind of get up under it, right there at the lip part right there. I like to get right there and kind of just make sure that's all I'm grabbing and pull that out. So, it's tricky because this, this starts blending in with this. So, you have to make sure you're only getting your mustache. In my opinion, that's the way I like to do it. So, let me pull some of this out and I'll be right back over here. I'll try to do it on this camera. A little bit harder on this camera. I can see a lot better over here than I can here, but we'll try to do it right here. So, right here in the corner of my lip, I'm trying to grab just this area so I'm not touching the actual beard, all right? But you can see here I'm pulling my cheek lines a little bit. So I gotta separate that. All right. Now that we got that separated, and then right here, separate that. It's pretty much with the corner of my lip, right there. Now I'm confident that I only got my mustache, all right? So what I'm going to do is kind of try to twist this, pull it, make sure it's separated from there, and then pretty much just let it go, and it should stay out a little bit, kind of like that. And this is what we're going to be messing with right here. I'm going to do the other side the same so I can look at both sides at the same time. All right. All right. Let me get over here a little bit. Hmm. Right there, it's pretty much what I'm looking at. You see some that sticks out pretty far. I don't want that, so I'm going to trim some of that off and make just a nice little swoop out of it, right? So here we go. Here we go. Once again, try to pull this out a little bit. As I'm talking, it's just laying its way back down, so try to get that corrected, and then we'll start doing some trimming. All right, let me see. It's a lot harder than it looks, guys. For my mustache anyways, it keeps just falling down. So here's where we're gonna go. We'll go right here and then chop, just like that. So that, probably about as long as I want it. Get to the other side. I get the same thing done. Mm -hmm. Right there. I got a couple hairs in there. They're a little longer than the other ones. Right down here. I don't know if you can see them. But those don't need to be in there. Those are actually below my mustache line. So we're going to pull them out. All right. So 
but now should be good right here all right same thing get behind there about right there sit all right so now that we got that that's about where I want it. I got one side that curls up, one side that curls down. That's hilarious. So uh, now I'm going to try to do is brush this out and see if I can get a little bit of shape to it. Might not even need to. I like the way this side's doing. Just a nice little swoop. It's perfect for me. It ain't too long and it separates itself just a little bit. No mustache wax or nothing. You can kind of tell it's separated right there. And that's what I'm looking for. But I always have a problem side, which is this side right here. So let's see if we can do anything about it or if I just have to leave it. I'll probably end up having to just leave it. Because like I said, this side likes to go down, this side likes to go up. Handlebar, reverse handlebar. This one side is still a little bit longer over here. So, not much, just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just come in here and trim some of the sides of this right here to match that length of this side. You can tell it's just a little bit longer. It's hard to tell because this side goes down, this side goes up, but you can tell the side's just a little bit longer. So what we're gonna do is I'm going here a couple rogue hairs that are hanging out far like that can't get that real long one right there gonna leave it alone all right it's hard to look in this camera and cut because i'll mess around and cut this so i have to look in the mirror <clears throat> here we go here we go here we go Sometimes these hairs up here, they'll hang down real low also, and that's what will cause that. So I'm pretty close to where I want to be. I don't want to cut off too much on this one side. I just want to make it look uniform. So sometimes you got to get the ones that are up here coming down because my ones up, my hairs that are right here that come down, usually are the ones that try to reverse curl downwards and kind of mess up the, the look of both sides being different. So. That's what I'm doing now. Clipping those so they'll they'll be short. Instead of being so long, they'll be shorter and tend to go this way instead of hanging down over. I'm getting pretty close to happy with what I got. I've got a couple hairs here. I'm going to try to separate out and then snip them off. See, I got a couple in here that ain't even mustache hair. They're just hanging out back there. So I'm gonna do we'll get right here. Snip. All right. And I'm still just a little bit longer over here. As you guys can see, right here where this curl is, it's pretty much, you can see this side curls down. So we need to take off to about right there. So it looks the same, like that. So I gotta get rid of a little bit more of these ones that are curling downwards. Which is hard, like I said, because my beard, my mustache keeps going back onto my beard. I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying not to cut and go into my beard. So I keep having to pull my mustache out. <clears throat> if I had some good mustache wax right now, this would probably be <clears throat> a lot easier. But I don't have any, so. What I'm going to do is hold this right here. Just a little bit at a time right there. I'm not going to take off too much. So I'm sliding my fingers out to make sure I don't do that. Right there. Now, 
I should have pretty much the same look both sides instead of it going down and one going up and stuff like that should look a little bit more better so let me just look in this mirror and don't be scared y'all just to get in there and snip some hairs man like, some of us are, we get we get nervous over a little hair you know i got some flyaways right here i know you guys can see them it's not so much a flyaway as it is one hair that's longer than the rest of them so this one hair right here that's hanging out may actually be a lot longer than the rest of them and sometimes i'll do i'll do a totally different type of trim for that right there um when i see those doing that or if they're hanging out too far i'll just go ahead and just snip that little hair off you know um just because it makes me feel better i don't have to look at it hanging out right there and um it looks better than them scragglers just hanging out. But I don't have anything in my beard right now. There ain't no products in. Just woke up. And uh, this is just what it looks like. So, I don't know, guys. Like I said, there ain't no products in my mustache or my beard. But that's what we're going with right there. Like I said, it ain't styled. I'm just sitting here touching it. But I think we got a pretty close length right there. Step back a little bit. I'm happy with that. It goes out a little bit. I don't like a real big handlebar mustache. If you guys got one, no offense. But for me, it's just enough to separate this from this. And give it like a little, little nice look there. And uh, I'm happy with that right there. So I'm going to stop where I'm at. Jump in the shower. And uh, come back out and style my, style my beard and mustache. I'm pretty happy with it. Just enough, you know. Took off just enough to where it's not hanging down into this and blending in. Kind of separates it a little bit. And uh, I think I'm happy with that. Mm. Yeah. I'm happy with that right there, guys. So that being said, see you guys in the next one.